Robson, we're back live with the women's Kieran. This is the ride for the 7th to 12th place. And it's Lissandra Guerra who's on the front here. The rider in the blue and yellow colours, uh, Helena Casas Guerra, trying to make a move on the right hand side. It's the Canadian rider Monique Sullivan who's trying to move up, move up trying to get the seventh place. Guerra on the inside. Hits the blue a little bit. Monique Sullivan racing through. So that win for Monique Sullivan of Canada in 11.617 for the last 200. Lariel took eighth. Lissandra Guerra took ninth. So that's the minor placings in the women's Kieran. The riders in the uh, final for the gold medal, just uh, choosing their cards. As is traditional in the Kieran race, you choose your cards, you choose your uh, number where you're going to be lined up on the track. Number six goes to the Russian rider, Nadenko. There she is, smiling away. She's always got a smile for the camera, the Katerina Nadenko. Doesn't uh, have as much uh, of that poker face as the rest of the riders do. Mustafa rode really well in uh, qualifying. In this final then, Virginie Quiff of France, Christina Vogel of Germany, Shalika of the Ukraine, Simona Krupikaita of Lithuania, Mustafa of Malaysia and Nadenko of Russia. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our coverage of the UCI Track Cycling World Cup here in Cali. Great few days of racing. This is the final event. The women's Kieran final. So Jeannie Quef getting ready. Mustafa always looks uh, almost upset when she's sitting there. A great competitor, Christina Vogel, very focused. Simona Krupakaite, the red and yellow of Lithuania. See how dark it is now. Well, the Colombian crowd are going to go away with uh, some great memories of the performances of their uh, riders from their country. As the bike moves into the front for the final time. Eight laps of the track, three laps to go. The dirty bike peels off. Then it's about the race to the line. It's uh, Krupa Kite at the front. Sitting right on the back, as usual, is uh, Nadenko. The German rider in second place. 
is Christina Vogel. We would expect her to go for the long run to the finish. Mustafa might surprise everybody, has been looking on very, very good form. So we'll see what happens over these uh, next few laps. We've lost our camera on the back of the motorbike. I think that was a great uh, addition to the action. Six laps to go. Thanks to all of you for joining us for this coverage of the UCI Track Cycling World Cup in Cali. The next round will be in Beijing. And then we head to London for the final round on the velodrome that will host the 2012 Olympic Games. Been inside that London velodrome, lucky enough to be there on the opening day to uh, announce the opening of that track with Lord Coe and uh, various other dignitaries and was given a chance to see the velodrome on the first day that uh, it was opened and what a great facility that's going to be. We'll wait and see whether it produces world records as Nadenko moves up now looking eager with four laps to go and tracking the motorbike looking round at everyone else. Krupa Kite is leaving a gap to uh, let other riders attack into the gap and then go with it. Good tactic there. Nadenko is looking for the motorbike, it's no longer there, it peels off, so Nadenko is going to have to lead out here. She goes for the inside line and uh, is squeezed out a little bit as uh, Virginie Kruf of uh, France moves up. Krupa Kaita in second place. Christina Vogel leaving it late now to move up on the right hand side. Krupa Kaita kind of squeezes her out a little bit. Mustafa almost touches the back wheel as Krupa Kaita hits the front now. And is she going to take this one? It's Vogel who's trying to get back on terms, but it looks like it's going to be a win for Krupa Kaita. That's an impressive win for Simona Krupa Kaita of Lithuania. Vogel in second, Virginie Kwef in third, and Krupa Kaita is extremely happy with that. Got her tactics absolutely right, and Vogel was unable to do what she's done in the last few rounds. So gold goes to Lithuania, silver goes to Germany, bronze goes to France. Here's the replay. Vogel was working hard, but she just left it late. She didn't have the pace this time. Krupa Kaita hits the line, got her tactics perfect. Krupa Kaita has just worked her way through the various rounds saving something in those legs ready for the final she's really happy with that win very impressive indeed there's confirmation then in 11.292 Vogel in second place Quefa France in third and the placings uh, as they 